what's up folks how we doing thanks for checking out the video and uh this one i'm gonna go through the steps on dewinterizing my uh new camp tab 2018 320s um this is not the clamshell model this one has a small bathroom and a kitchen in it um so to get it winterized i'm in georgia so we really don't have too much of a problem with it things freezing it does happen here um but to get it winterized, um, we got to put RV solution or RV uh, antifreeze into the tank, run the pump, and then run the antifreeze up through all the lines in the tab. So the lines are going to be the lines to the Aldi, which you block. You don't want the antifreeze in the Aldi, but uh, you want it up into the lines, um, the kitchenette, and the bathroom. So. Um, what we're going to do today is reverse that process. We're basically just going to flush all the antifreeze, run some clean water into it, flush it again, and uh, crank up the Aldi, fill up the tank, and just run it for the day. Get it running, get it ready for a trip that I've got next weekend. Um, some old high school buddies of mine have, of mine have a uh, fishing tournament down in Charlie Elliott Wildlife Management Area in Middle Georgia. So keep an eye out for uh, some videos from there. Hopefully we catch some good fish. And uh, thanks for checking out this video. So let's get into it. Dewinterization and a general setup of the new camp tab 320S. Thanks for watching. All right, first things first is we have to flush the water tank. Um, right now there's water mixed with antifreeze in the tank. We wanna get all that out um, first and foremost before we put fresh water in to flush. So that valve is right underneath the step down here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that now. There we go. Gonna let that go for a little bit. That may get somewhat pink as the antifreeze works its way out. We're gonna let that run for a few minutes, let it run completely out before we freshen up the tank. All right, so the tank is almost run completely out. Excuse the, excuse the winter mess. <laughs> So we will just want to find out what state everything's in right now. Battery, fresh water, gray, black water. Um, good to go on battery. We have about 25% in our tank. That sounds about right. And that's all mixed with the, uh, the antifreeze. Nothing in gray water. Should be nothing in black water. Nope. Yep. So that's where we're at. So we'll go ahead and flip on the pump right there because we're going to need to run basically every uh, um, every drain and faucet and uh, shower head and all that in the camper to get that RV antifreeze out all right so we've got the pump running as you can see right there you might be able to hear it too um, everything that runs out here is gonna go straight to the uh, gray water tank And we've run, uh, you can see the bubbles, it's a little bit pink. Just let that run for a minute. Could be the hot water side. That run out, get a shower. Get this dude running too. Both hot and cold water. All right, so now that we've run all the uh, antifreeze out of the RV, um, we've run it out of the lines in the bathroom and in the kitchen. I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh water to the tank. That way we can keep flushing. On the uh, driver's side, right here, you're gonna find the fresh water fill pop that guy open right there and let's see if we can do this without getting completely soaked all right 
So the pump stopped running, so we got pressure. We check our fresh water again. We're up to about 50%. It's still draining down in the bottom, and I'll add more water as that starts to drain out. But let's hit the, uh, let's hit this again. cold water running off the pump. As you can see, there's still some of that mix in there, so we just gotta keep flushing until we get all that. All right, so next up, we have to clear the lines. Um, the Aldi system is in the back, driver's side of the RV underneath the cushion. And then we're just gonna move that cushion out of the way. So if it looks confusing, it can be a little bit. Um, this is the plug for the power on the Aldi system. There is a bypass here that I need to hit. So what happens is you don't want any of the, you don't want to fire up the Aldi system with antifreeze in it. So this gets drained when you winterize it and you see the little yellow tab there when you flip that up that's what drains it and you want to close off that hot line that comes out of the Aldi and the cold line that goes into the Aldi so those two are closed and it bypasses so we need to open those back up but we got to make sure we drain it first and uh, then open up some of these dry bypasses if you see that that is a um, that is a drain below the, the vehicle or the RV so we're gonna hit that and uh, that one right there is the same thing for uh, the cold water so we're gonna hit that as well too as you can see, all those lines are flushing out and the pump is helping with it. All right, I've had a few minutes of run time and my water is starting to, uh, to die out here. Um, now basically everything is open. So let's check and see how our fresh water looks. 25%. So I'm gonna go fill it up put some more water in it, let it continue flushing. All right, now that we got the tank flushed, we're just gonna let the rest of it kind of run out, let the pump do its thing. Sit you right there and let you run. This bathroom's small, y'all. It's a sit and scrub for me. So that's the water pump doing work. Everything's nice and clean and dry back there. That's a good thing. Nothing's leaking. Yeah, we're good to go. Let run for a little bit. Where are we at? Back down to 25% again. I'm gonna add some more. Add some more water. But you can see all the bubbles that are working its way out of there. That's what we're gonna get. Alright, we had just about gotten all of that antifreeze out. As you can see, it's much clearer. There's still some bubbles in there a little bit. But uh, once this tank flushes out, we'll refill again. And uh, it should be pretty clean. Also, the RV um, antifreeze that you want to use is non-toxic. Um, now, I typically don't drink from, you know, this water. I'll use bottled water or uh, that sort of thing. But I do use this for washing up, washing dishes, showering. Um, here's the bathroom and the shower. And I barely fit in here too. But yeah, that's, that's what we're using the plumbing for. So we're not drinking that. But RV antifreeze is non-toxic. Use a non-toxic type. Um, that way you'll avoid a lot of problems. All right, y'all. Next thing I got to do 
is because we are emptying our tank into the gray water tank to flush it. I've got to empty out gray water. You want to be real gentle with your handles. As you can see, I've already broke one. And uh, this is just basically the, the flushed water. This is not bathroom water or water that's been used. It's got a little bit of the non-toxic antifreeze in it. Um, but this is just fresh water that I'm using to flush out for the camper oil. So we have flushed the tab out twice to get as much of the antifreeze out as possible. And we've filled the tank up to 100%. So uh, we have 100% fresh water. Pretty sure there's nothing in gray, nothing in black. Um, so winterization as far as the antifreeze is complete. Now what we want to do is turn our attention to the Aldi. So we want this guy to fire up. Um, we want it to fill up. And then we are going to use display here to turn the Aldi on, get it running, um what is the aldi you ask uh this is hot water heater and um almost like a unit heater right like it'll heat up the uh inside of the tab here um so when it's running you can run it in the winter time and uh, you can warm up the rv um, and it'll also uh has a little hot water tank in there that you can use for a hot shower so that's what we're doing next so to turn on the aldi we're just gonna you hear that click menu we can set a temperature for the camper we can set um hot water heater amount we can also run the aldi on electricity or propane which is nice so we're just going to let it set here for a minute and uh, the Aldi will fire up and get going. All right, while we're sitting here, um, because of winterization, obviously uh, LP uh, propane is off, right? So we just want to make sure that's the case. You see there it says electricity. I'm going to click on there and prioritize. Make sure that's on electricity too. So what that means is the whole camper is running off electricity and not gas. Now, once we get the Aldi fired up um, and we get the winterization complete and that sort of thing, we'll start testing out everything else. And that will include the uh, propane gas with the refrigerator and with the Aldi. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so I've turned on the pump and the hot water, I'm trying to get the water flowing through to the Aldi. Made sure all the valves are open in the right position. And you can hear the water flowing through. So that's a good thing. All right, y'all, one way to know that you have water in the Aldi system is if your hot water works or if you're actually getting water out of your hot water. Um, if you're not getting any hot water out of the hot water setting, which is up and out, if nothing's running out, what that means is there's no water coming from the Aldi system through the red hoses into the hot water valves around the RV. Um, so to make sure that water is flowing all the way through as it should, go ahead and put it in the hot water position. And as you can see, there's, you can hear the pump behind that wall right there. And if I turn it cold, it's gonna be directly off the pump and not through the pressure in the hot water for Aldi hot water system. So that's relatively smooth. Notice how the tempo change, how it's like, ah, 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 ah. That's because this is the cold water that's being driven completely off the pump. It's not going through the Aldi system. So that's how we know, one, our pump is working, and two, water's flowing the way it should through the Aldi system. Okay, so now that we've let it set for a little bit, the um, Aldi system's filled up with water. Um, it's on, it's starting to heat the water in the hot water tank. If you have any issues like your water tank isn't getting any water, if it's dry, um, you're gonna get a notification here on the panel. But as you can see, we're good to go. It's show, 
showing us that the uh, all the um, RV climate control is working. It's currently 74 degrees. We're running off of electricity. And as we go down, we've got one kilowatt of power going into hot water, actually. Now we've got one kilowatt of... Um, if you want to turn the hot water up real high, um, real hot, you can do that all the way like that. We don't want to do that. We just want it go kind of mid-range there. So we're just going to leave it at that. Um, but yeah, it looks like everything is running and we are good to go. Um, we have the camper dewinterized, um, flushed out all the antifreeze, um, brought in some new water, flushed that out, another tank, full tank of water. And uh, we have opened up the valves for the Aldi and let the water run through, given it about an hour and a half. And I've just tested the hot water and the hot water's working. Woo! Ow! Yeah, that's scolding hot. Cold water's working. Shower, pump's good. Air condition's good. TV's good. Refrigerator's good. And uh, we are, we're ready to go camping. We're back in the game. Um, last thing I do want to check before I wrap it up is the LP propane. I probably won't use the propane this weekend. I'll I'll have my generator, and I'll be running the generator off of propane. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. Uh, just picked up a Champion 2500 dual fuel, which will run on either gasoline or propane, and uh, that little generator will run this whole whole camper. Uh, but yeah, we are good to go. We're ready to go camping. So. Thanks for checking out the video. If you guys have any questions about the tab or my particular unit, um, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer that for you. So thanks. Y'all take care.